I begin the process by rolling out a four nines fine pure gold coin Canadian maple leaf to just a few thousandths of an inch thick. Next, I take five troy ounces of gold, melt it in a melt dish, and then pour it into a tank of water to form pure gold granules. Next, we add the pure gold granules to a beaker. We cover them with hydrochloric acid, put it up on the heat, and then we start adding doses of nitric acid to dissolve the gold. And this will be our electrolyte for the electrolytic gold cell. I clip the pure gold cathode on the side of the cell with a copper clip. I've got a pure gold anode bar and I have my jeweler friend solder it onto a piece of 14K gold wire so we can suspend it in the cell. I add the electrolyte to the cell, top it off with a little hydrochloric acid, and watch that cathode as I apply the power, it'll instantly turn black. We're running the cell at 1.5 volts, negative side to the cathode in the back, positive side to the uh, anode bar suspended in the electrolyte. And here you can see the anode bar dissolving, passing through the electrolyte and plating out as high purity gold on the cathode. Here you watch the bar completely dissolve and fall off. With the reaction complete, I take the cell down off the heat. And here's the first look that we get at the pure gold crystal that's formed on the cathode. I rinse it off with a little distilled water. We dry it off and then we put it on the scale. We've got 27.7 grams of four nines fine, high purity gold. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching.